you know, I had a hard time with that myself. And I trying to figure out is, I mean, it's a hard scene to watch for, I'm sure, other people. And it's hard for me to watch as a filmmaker because I feel like, you know, it keeps cutting. And so I keep wondering, are you never answering him or did you cut your own answers out? And so that was my question. Um, well, the, um, so <clears throat> uh, it was, so as I, as I said, we'd already talked, kind of belabored this topic with him of how, what the deal with, was and how I would help him, how I would pay him um, and how much I would pay him. And so in that sense, I didn't feel like he needed an answer. He knew in a sense what, what we were doing and what the deal was. Um, so it was a little bit of a showdown. It was a little bit of a showdown. I also felt then, um, and when I've shown the film with Juan and he's responded to the audience questions, I, I, I definitely still feel really strongly that he was aware that he was speaking not just to me but to an audience. Okay. And, um, and filming it, I, I definitely felt that to be the case. And that was certainly a, a goal of mine and of ours was for the audience to feel implicated mm -hmm. in the, the, the relations, the, the filmmaking relations and even the class relations of making documentary. Yeah, and inherent in that is the obligations that we have as filmmakers with our subjects and what are they giving us, what are we taking and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so it, it gets super complicated. It gets super complicated. And usually, and I really intentionally, you know, the stuff that usually gets swept under the rug or kept under the table, I very intentionally put it on the table. And I allowed, in doing that, I allowed myself to be a, a flawed character in a way that is quite rare in documentary. Mm -hmm. um, I was already doing that in the film and in the edit when I found a book that articulate, that gave me words to articulate what I was doing. And that book's called The Journalist and the Murderer. It's by Janet Malcolm, who, who wrote for The New Yorker. Okay. And she, in it, she writes that the, um, the only fiction in a work of journalism is the character of the journalist, who is always represented as this um, kind of, um, <laughs> morally upstanding like vehicle for truth to come to the reader um, this uncomplicated vehicle and so I let myself be a complicated person a flawed person even if I'm trying to do the right thing <laughs>